So a bicolor dog is one of these combinations. It's either eight, and I'm, I'm gonna write uppercase, AT plus AT. This is from the mother, this is from the father, or vice versa. That's a bicolor dog. Notice I only wrote it once here, but I'm showing a combination in a child that you might have. So AT plus AT will create a bicolor dog. Another combination is AT plus A. Now notice I'm writing A lowercase, not uppercase. In German Shepherd's A, black is a recessive gene. That's why it's lowercase A, not uppercase A. So the dominant gene in German Shepherd's is AW, sable. That's the original color of the German Shepherd, not black and tan, as most people think. It's like a wolf-like color. Uh, as uh, that's in nature described as sable. Now, uh, homozygous is sable, in other words, AW plus AW is dominant over any other color. In other words, if both parents are sable, AW plus AW, no matter what the other partner is, let's say this is the mother, as an example, no matter what the sire is from any of these combinations, if the mother is AW plus AW, the puppies come out of sable, no matter what other color you have. And they carry the other colors are recessive. In other words, hidden. Uh, now, so you get a bicolor, the combinations are bicolor bred with bicolor, or bicolor bred with black also produces bicolor. Black does not become black. Black enhances any color it is bred to. Black is a color addition gene, not a color dilution gene. So black is used to darken any color it's bred to. For example, let's say your female is missing a face mask. It only has the black muzzle, but the dome of her skull is beige, not black, because the color dilution happened over time. You breed this female, black and tan, which only has a black muzzle, but missing the color on top of the head, to a black dog, the puppies will fix that. So black adds color to where it's missing, or enhances and enriches the color or whatever the partner is. It doesn't pass itself unless the other partner is black or carries black. Let me explain that. So a bicolored dog would be one of these two combinations. That will, a bicolored dog bred to a bicolored dog or a bicolored dog bred to a black dog, okay? What about Sable? Sable, we can have a couple of different combinations. We can have AW plus AW. These are the combinations for Sable. We can have an AW plus A. We can have an AW plus AT. And we can have an AW plus, a, plus AS. So bicolor has only two combinations. Sable has four combinations. Sable parent with sable parent. Sable parent with black parent. Sable parent with black and tan parent. Sable parent with, uh, with bicolor parent. Sable parent with black and tan parent. Four combinations. One, two, three, four. Now, what does that look like in practical terms? Let's say I have a sable bitch and a black and tan sire. Well, let's say the sire equals uh, AS plus A. That was like my old dog Jake. His father was black, so he carried recessive black from his father but his mother was black and tan. So he is a sire which looks black and tan, but carries black, okay, from one of his parents. Now, let's say the female is not dominant sable, which is AW plus AW, but recessive sable. In other words, she's not homozygous, he's, uh, she's heterozygous. So the female, let's say, is AW plus A. She carries black from her father, let's say, and is sable from her mother. 
So the female is a sable which carries black, the male is a black and tan which carries black. What are you going to have? Well, you're going to have the following. AS, A, bred with, I'm going to, uh, it's, I don't have space in the board. Uh, A, S, A, bred with, uh, a W plus A, I already wrote it above, I'm going to rewrite it again. You can have a couple of combinations. You can have this combination, A S plus A W. This will be a black and tan with a sable. Who is more dominant, sable or black and tan? Sable. So this puppy will look sable, but have a blanket like a black and tan. It'll have a traditional saddle like a black and tan. So this will look black, look sable, but we'll have a black and tan blanket, but will be a blanketed. Now this dog can pass black and tan if in the next generation the partner is black and tan. This is being carried forward, so the black, uh, this is being carried forward, black and tan. So the next partner will be black and tan, will combine with this gene. But this is a sable dog, but carries a blanket like a black and tan. The other combination which is possible is AA. Pure black. Because the black recessive from the mom and from the dad combined to give you pure black. The other combination which is possible is AS plus A. Black and tan carries black. In other words, it's a repeat of the father. Black and tan carries black. The other combination possible is this one. Which is AW, AW, A is capital, AW plus A. Sable but carries black, just like the mom. So there'll be four sets of pups in the litter. There'll be sable pups that carry black. There'll be sable pups which carry black and tan. So that's two already sable combinations. There'll be at least one pup, all black. That's only a quarter of your combination, not 50%. And there'll be one pup black and tan that carries black, or black and tan and carries sable. Uh, I mean, it'll be, I mean it'll, it'll be black and tan. In other words, four combinations are possible when you pair a black and tan which carries black with a female which is sable but carries black. All right, what's our next combination? Let's say we pair.